Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. We would like to now hand over to the co-prosecutor to continue putting questions. La parole est rendue au co-procureur pour la suite de l'interrogatoire. Mr. President, thank you. L'accusation. Mr. Sonkenil. In the central zone office. Au bureau de la zone centrale. Were you and Chien? Vous et Chien. The telegram translator allowed to work in the same office. De Telegram autorisé à travailler dans le même bureau. Response. Yes, we were. Réponse. We were in oui. the same office, Nous étions dans holding le même bureau. different functions. Nos fonctions étaient différentes. I was the Morse Moi, code operator when he was the telegram translator Morse, or decoder. Tandis que lui était décodeur de Telegram. Thank you. I want Question. to deal now with telegrams from the centre to you at the zone. Telegram qui venait du centre et qui vous And in your OCIJ interview E3 slash 344. ERN's English 00384429, French 00426148, and Khmer 00373498. You said that there was a schedule that was set by the centre level for telegrams to the zone. And the schedule was how I knew the telegram came from the centre. Is that correct? Calendrier que vous saviez que le télégramme venait du centre. Response. According to the technicality of réponse. Telegram, we had our own Nous rule from notre propre the, sur le plan technique. Center, the zone to the center, we would be allowed to communicate with Pour them on two occasions only, two times only per day. Le zone et le so la zone one et le centre, nous pouvions communiquer deux fois par jour, However, une fois le matin, une fois l'après-midi. Mais, par la suite, il y a eu uh, des radio communications radio radio radio. radio radio. 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 communication C'était une other words, communication from, dans un seul sens. Uh, the lower level Autrement dit, le niveau we could inférieur, there, but not niveau the other supérieur, way pas dans le sens contraire. I'm concentrating Question. with these questions on telegrams from the center to you at the zone. Du centre qui vous était envoyé à vous dans la zone. Can you perhaps then picture that I'm at the center and I'm sending a telegram to you que moi at the je zone? Au centre. Vous êtes à la zone. Je vous envoie un telegram. What contact was there between the zone quel telegram receiver y avait-il entre le récepteur telegram de Telegram de la zone et l'expéditeur de Telegram du centre avant qu'un Telegram ne soit before, envoyé please. dans les instants précédents Response. It is not difficult to get back to you on this because as a technician myself I can say that normally we would send our telegrams out and we have our schedule the list of contacts and on my site for example we name ourselves as A and our partner of communication would be named B every five minutes we would be communicating les minutes, and using this code, uh, by code. repeating this, the other person would know this code number and be ready to communicate. communicate. Otherwise, uh, we would not be able to Autrement, nous communicate at all. And we never had uh, mistakes. Et and I had been uh, 
doing this all along alone and so at one point i was uh, in charge of five seul. devices radio communication à devices at the donné, same time j'ai été responsable de cinq appareils de communication radio en même temps so question i'm at the center i'm sending you a telegram je of suis au centre vous êtes dans la zone we're in je contact before the telegram sent to make sure that we're both nous ready nous sommes en contact pour veiller à ce que nous soyons prêts tous and les deux. Then Morse code, Ensuite, nous employons le morse. Tic 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 Response. In our communication Réponse. from center to Dans la the zone, entre as I already stated, zone, uh, it was time dit, when we were allowed to do that and there were code names we used to communicate one another. If we had to send some messages, then we would si tell our message, partner that nous we would uh, be sending the message, message in any given time à telle ou telle heure. and if the message was urgent uh, the, it si was also communicated to urgent, the également person in the communication to make sure that priority was uh, made pour que le message soit envoyé à titre prioritaire they used some kind of code or sign, a universal sign un de code uh, to communicate uh, one another. And the reason I say that we used some kind of universal Nous signs because I see French uh, letters, Je le sais parce y avait des lettres D, françaises. D. Something like that. A, D, D, right, so if I send you a telegram, Question. I'm at the center, I'm sending a telegram to you at the zone. Vous êtes dans la zone. How did you write down the message? Just Comment on um, le message? any piece of paper Sur or was bout there de papier, a special book? Y avait -il How un did you write out effet, the telegram that you'd received? Où transcriviez-vous le telegram que vous receviez? Response. Telegrams Réponse. Normally, normally came en général, in numbers or digits. Telegrams arrivaient en chiffres. And at the zone, if I would like to send a letter Moi, to la zone, si je the sector, then a secretary or assistant of the sector would draft the letter and have it translated so that it could be sent to me. Rather, it. It, it was drafted and then decoded uh, into rédigée. numbers Ensuite, so that we could then send it out. So this is the Avant rule. There, there was rule and norms ainsi. in Tell doing la this. La I just want to break that down. Question. You've Saint written down numbers Vous as the telegram receiver. And those numbers need to be decoded from numbers into letters. Is that correct? Response. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, the letter would be written into numbers and then decoded into letters. But the person who did the decoding wasn't you. Was Question. it Chon or Le somebody else in the translation vous, unit? C'était Chon ou quelqu'un d'autre de l'unité de du décodage? Response. Réponse. As I stated uh, already, it was Chin. C'était Chin. Was a personal assistant to Kai Pop. L'assistant personnel de Kai Pop. And he was the telegram. Qui s'en chargeait, lui, c'était le décodeur de Telegram. And I was le the one who de actually input this moi, coding or numbers into the device so that I could send them out. 
j'encodais les messages well, dans l'appareil pour les envoyer. Into really small Question. Découpons ça You've received en the différentes étapes. Vous recevez the been un télégramme. But what would happen with Il est décodé. Would see every Mais est-ce que K-Poc voit chacun des télégrammes Response. Réponse. Every telegram that sent to the zone. Chaque télégramme envoyé à la zone. Had to be sent directly to him. être envoyé directement. Him. And à lui. then after receiving the telegrams he would then Après avoir reçu le télégramme, send them to lui, his uh, telegrams decoder so that they could be decoded into letters de telegram pour passer so telegram received honnête. telegram written Question. down telegram decoded telegram to kpop il est décodé il est envoyé à kpop now if this telegram that I at the center, Moi, au centre, have sent to you at the zone, needs to be sent on si to the sector. Doit ensuite être envoyé au secteur. How did that happen? Que cela How did it get to the sector from the zone? Secteur, en provenance de la zone? Response. Response. When telegrams were sent from Quand center to zone, we had different zone, sh uh, uh, coding. Il y avait and then from zone to sector, code. we would have different um, telegram decoding table. Il y avait de des and it utilisés. is more complicated because uh, they had to complexe. do their best to make sure that it could not be tracked uh, by the Il satellite. Veiller à ce que les satellites ne puissent pas intercepter la communication. Nous savons qu'il y avait un to contact the zone by telegram. What if the zone was passing on the telegram to the sector? Was there also a schedule of timing for a telegram from the zone to the sector? Donc pour les télégrammes allant de la zone au secteur. Response. Réponse. Indeed, there were schedule of timing. Effectivement, il y avait une grille des They horaires. would not um, do that when the time was overlapping with another schedule. For example, on at pas faire ça 5 quoi. p.m., we would be communicating exemple, our heures, message from sector 41 to 42, and then we would then set the uh, time to a different one so that uh, we could uh, do that properly. If we had uh, many or uh, quite a few devices, then that would not be a big si problem, but we didn't. Pas de Mais pas le cas. Let's deal with a concrete Question. example. Un concret. In your OCIJ interview, Dans E3 slash 411, English ERN 0039 French 0042 4036 Khmer 0037 3510 You said that if the centre wanted to invite the sector Secretaries le sec les to attend a meeting at the zone. This would be done by zone. telegram. Cela se par Is that correct? Yes, exact. Response. Réponse. That's that's the order of uh, the flow, uh, center to zone, zone to sector, and sector to district. De la zone au secteur, 
puis du secteur au district. Right. I now want to deal with the telegrams Question. in the reverse direction. Parlons What I mean des is télégrammes qui étaient acheminés en sens inverse. A telegram from a dit, sector. Les télégrammes venant d'un secteur donné. To you at the zone. Qui vous étiez qui vous était envoyé à vous, which needed vous to qui be forwarded to the center. et qui ensuite devait remonter vers le centre. And in your OCIJ interview E3/344, ERN English 00384429, French 00426148. Khmer 00373498. You said this, and I quote. 37348. Voici ce que vous dites. Every telegram related to the sectors, Tous les télégrammes en which was sent to the central zone, had to go through my place. So, is that était. correct? Telegram from the sector les to you. Du secteur qui vous était adressé, you were the person who dealt with dans ce such telegrams. Vous qui étiez chargé de ces télégrammes. Response. Yes, it is correct. Réponse, effectivement. And uh, in the same Question. interview, you said Dans le même the telegrams mal, coming from the dites, sectors were not on a regular basis. Each day, pas I received only one telegram jour, from the sector, du secteur, or sectors. Ou des sectors. But in 1978, Mais the telegrams were sent to us more often. Les ont été plus is that correct? Yes, exact. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Effectivement. <coughs> is there the same contact Question. between the sector telegram man Entre and you as the zone telegram man et vous, where le you're making regular contact before the telegrams actually dit, sent y avait un contact avant to make sure that both operators are ready for the telegram? Soit prêt. Response. That Réponse. is correct. Effectivement. Telegram comes into you Question. at the zone from the sector, translated, and then it's sent up to the zone. zone. Il arrive au secteur, il est décodé, Would K-Pulk see? The telegram from the sector to the zone before it went up to the center. Response. Kaipok had to be or had to be informed of the telegram devait être informé and there was a lock book il y avait for example how many telegrams there were sent exemple, in and we had to have them register properly otherwise we would be in trouble if we arrivait, missed il fallait the telegrams that were sent si in on avait oublié de mentionner des télégrammes qui étaient arrivés so did, did you recall in the log book every registre, telegram coming in and every telegram going out qui entrait et chaque télégramme qui sortait Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. And so we're Question. clear in your Pour être sûr zone, repris, the central zone. Dans votre zone, la zone centrale. We have three sectors. Il y a trois secteurs. Sector 41. Le 41. Sector 42. Le 42. And sector 43. Et le 43. And they um, each had their own telegram operators. Is that correct? Ses propres télégraphistes. Yes, exact. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui. 
Mr. Cannell, I'm going to move on now, please, to some specific examples of telegrams. Mr. President, with your leave, can I please uh, hand to Mr. Sue and Cannell uh, telegram E3 slash 519? The President. You may proceed, and court officer is now instructed to bring the document Michel from the co-prosecutor to the witness. And Mr. President, could I also ask for permission to that for this document to go up on the screen, please? The President, you may proceed. Mr. Sohankinil, just take some time, please, Monsieur to familiarise yourself with uh, this document. document. We can see that in the top left-hand side of the page, gauche, telegram, on peut lire number 32. La mention, telegram number 32. At the bottom of the page, we can see page, that this was a telegram sent by Comrade Polk. was sent on the 29th of March, 1978, and it was received on the 29th of March at 2300 hours. The telegram at the bottom has copied to Um Nguyen, copy à Oncle Nguyen office au bureau, and documentation. Et aux archives. And the telegram is addressed to Le telegram Dear Missed est Committee 870. Now, what did you Bien understand, aimé. if anything, Committee 870? Pour vous. Or just the numbers que 870, comité 870 to mean ou encore or signify. Response. Nous Réponse. This telegram is genuinely the real telegram because I can confirm this by way of looking at the text that was uh, typed le texte and the number, the number and the band uh, here le were very familiar. Telegram et le nombre de caractères. And je reconnais tout cela. In the telegram process, for example, if the other end of the line did not receive si enough text, uh, then we would also note on the letter like number two nine five band on the top left. Uh, represents uh, the number le texte of texts entier, uh, sent to the other side and uh, end end of the line. And if uh, they didn't receive well, we should also note si um, the text. But this uh, telegram was uh, well received. Uh, every one minute, we could proceed up to en 60 minute, nous pouvions ban. So, all together, it took us about Donc, five total, to six minutes uh, to uh, six minutes finish uh, this telegram. Pour, uh, I was not a fast typist or telegram typer, but others could do uh, that very quickly. We can see in the um, first few words of the telegram, K. Polk is saying, I would Parce like to report to Ankar. So, so who was this telegram 
received by. Qui a reçu ce télégramme? Response. This telegram was reported to Anka. So Ce it's up to the telegram Anka. decoder who had to arrange the text and add some le texte en forme, words to make sure that uh, they look mots readable and pour rendre le texte understood. Lisible. Et compréhensible. If I was the decoder myself, I would not uh, translate the text as it appeared si on this uh, decodeur, telegram. Décodé cela However, this is what we received from the bon, decoder. Voilà this is how we typed through the telegram. The term Anka here Ici, is uh, referring to Anka the general group rather than to individual. Et non à so des by way of saying that the uh, the telegram addressed to Office 870, Donc, people would know who to send to. Que le right now let's était adressé au bureau 870, les just gens see what we learn about this telegram. Question. Voyons ce qu'on peut apprendre It's from dans ce K-Pop. Telegram. Il émane de K-pop. He says at the bottom. En bas. Or towards the bottom. Vers la fin. Of the telegram. The substance of Voici this letter, dit. I copy copié la from Comrade Arne's letter de la lettre in du sector, du sector 41. So, do I have it right that this telegram was been sent Donc, from the zone up to Ankar based on information from Comrade Arne in Sector 41? Du sector 41. Is exact? <coughs> Response. Réponse. It is correct. I um, also may wish to elaborate a bit. Something préciser. happened at Sector 41 at that time. Dans le secteur 41, un événement there was s'est produit. a group of bandits and they were arrested and Sector uh, 41 sent telegrams to us to send to the zone who reported all the way to the center. This is the message that uh, I remember uh, detailing the event voilà. happened at Sector 41. And then we can see what k wanted to happen from the words Nous voyons ce at que the bottom of the telegram. En bas du telegram. Ankar, please ask Comrade Met, are there such reported main, de names? Demander au camarade if Met so, si please inform by communicating with Comrade Ann to si receive oui, these comments. Si oui, je vous prie d'en informer le Ann pour if réceptionner not, Ankar, please camarade. inform back. Contraire, je prie so do I de have le it faire right savoir. that Ankar Donc, was going to respond to this letter with instructions? En des instructions. Response. Réponse. I can respond to this precisely. Je peux In répondre. the text, I may also add, two combatants were involved in this case. They came home. Deux combatants. The combatants stayed, uh, uh, worked with mate at the concerné. airport. And when Ces they went home, they didn't have the permission letter. And ils sont chez they were stopped pas by people at Sector 41. Ils ont été but uh, par des gens du and the report had to be informed to MATE. Et il fallait en MATE, Met. Uh, uh, the communication had to go through some proper channel because we could never 
overstep this boundary and this is how it happened. Les voies appropriées, on ne pouvait pas franchir certaines limites. Overstepping the boundary. Question. Franchir certaines limites. Why couldn't K-Pol just send a telegram K-Pol straight to uh, Met? Pourquoi ne pouvait-il pas juste envoyer le télégramme à Met? Ba ba copy ai tha if it was not uh, in line with the uh, procedure of telegrams, then uh, it would not be accepted. And of course, at the uh, zone and the uh, airfield did not have any line of communication. I mean, the telegram was not. Uh, communicated. So the zone cannot send any telegram across to uh, the uh, airport field. Uh, in other words, uh, no telegram uh, could be sent uh, to meet. And concentrating at the bottom of the telegram, uh, who's Um Nguyen? Au bas du telegram, qui est Oncle Nguyen? Om Nguyen uh, is, Om of course, uh, Nguyen Chia. Uh, and why would he have to know about this? Et pourquoi devait-il être mis au courant de cela? Réponse. I uh, did not graph uh, this. Um, internal communication, but that's what uh, we were asked uh, to do. We had to uh, copy it to Uncle Nun. It was the uh, order, and I was told that uh, he was at the center, so we had to send it to the center. And uh, here, of course, uh, Uncle Nun refers to Nun Chia. So, I mean, I mean, where would the order have come from to tell you to send it to Nun Chia? The order was from the zone. I was a Morse operator. I had uh, no decision. Uh, and uh, it was uh, a decision by the uh, zone, and the zone uh, would order me uh, to uh, type it accordingly and uh, send it out uh, to the center, and I did not know who were at the center levels. I was uh, in a very uh, low position. I did not know who uh, they were at the uh, center level. But the order to send telegrams to Nguyen Chair, would that come from, I don't know, Kay Polk, the translator, somebody else at the zone? As I said earlier, uh, the order was uh, handed down uh, through hierarchical structure. For example, if uh, anything happened uh, in sector 41, then it had to be reported to the uh, zone, and the zone had to relay uh, it to the uh, center for decision. And uh, that was the hierarchical uh, lines of communication then. La communication, la, la hiérarchie. Thank you, Mr. Connell. Uh, I would like, uh, Mr. Sean Connell, I would like Merci now, please, to hand uh, to you, with Mr. President's permission, please, document number E3 slash 932. And, Mr. President, can that please also go up on the screen? President, you may proceed. The court officer is now instructed to obtain the document from the prosecutor and hand it over to the witness. Mr. Sewan Canel, again, just take a moment to have a look at this. We can see that this document in the top left hand of the page is a telegram 02, the radio band of 680 is given, 
It's headed to respected committee Il est adressé 870. au chef respecté et bien-aimé 870. From the end of the telegram, we can see that it was sent on the 12th of April 1978 from Comrade Polk, and that it was received on the 13th of April at 2015 hours. As to the substance of the telegram, the first line reads, I would like to give an additional report on the situation of the battlefield around road number seven. In the final parts of the telegram, K. Polk is saying, I have laid down clear measures to be taken in each prongs of the west and east battlefields. And then I would request Ankar to report on the above situation. Now, you said that Telegram activity was busier in 1978. Is that correct? Que 1978 était une année très prolifique en termes d'envoi de télégrammes. N'est-ce pas? Yes, uh, that is correct. In 1978, uh, it was uh, busier. Nous étions plus occupés en 1978. And if I look at the uh, substance of this telegram, I, I knew about it as well, because at that time the situation was looming in the East Zone. At that time, uh, quelque chose de mal, um, à Kai Pok uh, was on duty because uh, other cadres uh, were summoned to for a uh, meeting in Phnom Penh, so he was in charge uh, of the warfare uh, in the eastern part of Mekong River, and he was the one who communicated through this telegram uh, to the center. He was at that time stationed somewhere in Sung. So he prepared uh, the telegraph and then uh, he uh, asked us at, uh, who were stationed at Kampung Cham uh, to uh, send it uh, to the center. And uh, he undersigned the uh, telegram and there were uh, more number or code number there. So uh, that was the real telegram sent at the time. At the bottom of the telegram, Question. Au bas uh, du telegram under the copied extract, la ligne copie a. taking the names in turn, firstly, les mains, les, les noms, uncle. Un, un, un. Who le did you understand that to be? Homme, oncle. Qui était-ce, selon vous? Homme. I do not recall exactly uh, who uh, he was. Uh, I do not know many people at the uh, center level, but uh, my understanding uh, of the situation at that time and call here would uh, refer to Pol Pot. And Ankol Nguyen, right below Ankol, was would you like me to describe Donc other individuals down there? And call Nguyen, and call Van, and one office and documentation. I did not know two of the names. As for and call Nguyen, I know uh, him. Uh, it was referred to Nguyen Chia, but Nguyen as for Ankol Van and Ankol Von and Ankol Von, uh, they were revolutionary names at the time, and I 
did not know them. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sue and Keneal. Next, please, Mr. President, document number E3-516. Can I please ask for permission for the witness to see this document and for it to go up on the screen? President, uh, you may proceed, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, and uh, court officer, please bring the document to the witness for his examination. Mr. Sewan Keneal, this is a um, document which is uh, in the top left of the document. We have Brother Van. Telegram 10, 393 characters, and addressed to Dear Beloved, 870. From the end of the telegram, we can see it is from Comrade Polk that it was sent on the 4th of May 1978 and received on the 5th of May 1978 at 10 hours. And K. Polk, in paragraph 1 on page 1, is reporting in these words. We reached the battlefield in the evening of the 4th of April 1978 at 6.30 and have received Ankar's letter. Nous avons reçu la lettre he says at paragraph 5 paragraph that his forces have left Kampong Cham. Que ses forces ont quitté Kampong Cham. Now, by looking at this, you've said already that the Vous nous avez déjà dit previous telegrams are real. Que les Does telegrams this look to you like a genuine real telegram? Un, un. Est-ce que cela vous semble être un authentique télégramme? Non, ça me fly. Réponse. Réponse. By my examination, uh, this telegram is uh, genuine and telegram uh, number 10 and character 393. And by looking at this, uh, I know that this, uh, this is the real or genuine uh, telegram. If it was a handwritten one, it was different from this. And uh, there was an un a signature by uh, Kai Po. Uh, I did not know about his signature at that time because uh, he was in charge uh, of central zone, I don't centrale. understand why he Je was assigned to be responsible elsewhere. At that time, he was a member of the Il National Defense Committee. De la Defense and normally, when there was any immediate uh, situations, uh, he would be assigned to handle the task. And at that time, the, the warfare in the eastern part of the country was blooming, uh, and he was assigned to be responsible for that. And then he uh, communicated with the center through telegrams to inform them that he had already uh, departed or left uh, for the uh, designated uh, uh, areas of responsibility. He wanted to inform his superior that uh, he was complying with the order. And this was the uh, matters of uh, military affairs. That's why it was uh, rather secretive and it was uh, a matter of urgency. I'd like to move on, please. And the, ne the next topic heading is this. Uh, communication between one zone and another zone. Les communications d'une zone à l'autre. Now, in your OCIJ interview E3 slash 344, English ERN 0038 French 
Second. Khmer 00373499. You are asked, could this be done? In other words, could one zone communicate with another zone directly? And I quote your answer. No. Absolutely not. The communication between one zone to another without going through the centre could not be done. Do you stand by that? Maintenez-vous cette affirmation. Response. Réponse. I still maintain my statement. Tout à fait. But in order to enlighten uh, Mr. Prosecutor, as I have uh, mentioned uh, uh, earlier, point, that there was no dirai, telegram communication uh, between zones unless uh, there was uh, permission uh, from Office 817. And here, you may wish to ask me why a Kaipo was assigned to be responsible in another zone. I can uh, enlighten you because at that time, uh, it, the, the uh, forgive me, Mr. Sernkenel, I don't want, please, to ask you about why Kaipo was being responsible for another zone. Uh, forgive me for interrupting, but time, time is running. In your OCIJ statement, you went on to say, same page reference. The investigator said to you, well, well why not? Why can't one zone communicate directly with another zone? Your answer, I quote, that was because they did not want us to communicate with each other directly. On the next page, page it suivante, must go through the centre first. Par le Do you stand by those statements? Est-ce que vous confirmez ces propos? Réponse. Yes, I still maintain oui. my statement. You also said in a separate OCIJ interview, E3/74. English ERN 00384690, French 00426163, and Khmer 00373520. You were talking about approvals from the upper echelon. We could not do anything without the approval from the upper echelon. It was not possible. It was the instruction of the upper echelon. Is that correct? It's exact, Monsieur Temo. Response. First. I maintain my statement with uh, further elaboration. At that time, uh, the subordinate had to uh, respect the order of the superior. Mr. President, can I please show to the witness uh, document number E3-254 and ask for permission for that, for that to be shown on the screen, please. Et le faire afficher à l'écran. Le président, je vous en prie. President, you may proceed. We can see on this document, E3-254, it is a telegram, number 32. It has 295 characters. Mm -hmm. 
It's from M870. De M870. It's dated the 20th of March 1978. And it is copied to Bong Si or Sai. I don't know how to say it. Si, je sais pas And Bong Pok. So this is from 870. And the telegraph says, be informed that the East Zone La zone est has sent a copy a of a report un on the enemy's activities in Mokkampul to the office by requesting bureau, the office to send to you, brother. Bureau, de vous le brother, please monitor this situation Veuillez and take any measure based on the reality by communicating with Mokkampu. So, pausing there. This is from 870. And do I have it right that the um, East Zone has sent a report to Office 870? Réponse. Réponse. To my understanding, by looking at this uh, telegram, this uh, telegram was compris, copied to Brother C and Brother Pope, and the sending office was M870, and M870 uh, was the, uh, the center, the office of the center. So office 870 uh, sent this telegram and sent to uh, Mukkumpul, and there was a report uh, from the East uh, Zone to Kampu. Office 870, and 870 uh, sent this letter to uh, this uh, telegram uh, to uh, Mukumpul. And of course, uh, Brother C was copied, and uh, Brother Pork was also copied here. And there was an order uh, that uh, this telegram uh, be copied uh, to uh, Brother C in order that he was informed uh, that the problem has been uh, handled. That's why there was an order that uh, we had to copy uh, to both of them. So there was an order from the upper authority that I had to copy to them. So once again, M870 was different from Office 870. One is M870 and the other one was Office 870. And if it was sent uh, to Office 870, they would address to, for example, Uncle Noon also. The point, um, Mr. Soren Kniel, is this, that prior to this being sent, the East Zone has sent a report about the enemy's activities in Mokkampul. Now, which zone was Mokkampul in? Mokkampul was Kampoul in the central zone at that time. Dans la zone à so if there was enemy activity going on in Mokkampul in the central zone, dans la zone but centrale. that was being observed by the east zone, Mais que la zone est qui could the east zone contact the central la zone, zone directly? Direct avec or la did it have to go through somewhere else? Par, uh, ailleurs. Good count. As Good a point. matter of fact, uh, east uh, zone en fait, would report uh, to the center. But if you look at this uh, telegram, the uh, Mokkampul and East Zone was zone close est. geographically. So uh, uh, at that time, they uh, copy to uh, Mokkampul, one copy, copy, and then they uh, also send uh, to the center. That's why when it was sent back from the uh, M870, 
uh, it copy to um, the Mokum pool. So if it refers to the 870 committee, they would, they would not address them by uh, Bong, or rather they would address to them as Ancol. Now, in terms of the supervision of your telegram work at the central zone, uh, you said in your OCIJ interview E3 slash 411 that you uh, that K Polk used to call you twice to meet him personally to talk about the telegram work and that he instructed you to work seriously and respect the working schedule so that work would not be slow and to organize additional staff for the telegram section. Is that correct? That is correct. I maintain these statements, but I would like to uh, clarify a little bit further. At that time, uh, the day at uh, tomorrow, uh, Pol Pot would visit uh, Kampung Cham province. And then this telegram uh, was received by me at around 8 o'clock. And at that time, the weather was not good enough. I knew that um, there were uh, telegrams sent from 870. At the times, I actually um, knew that uh, the telegram was to be sent from the center to Et me, but I, not, I did not receive, I did not know what was going on. Uh, and then uh, the next morning, uh, Pol Pot arrived before uh, Kai uh, woke up in the morning. Actually, uh, at around 7, uh, when Kai uh, got up, uh, he saw Pol Pot, and he was surprised that Pol Pot was there. And Pol Pot asked him whether or not Kai had received his telegram, and Kai told him that he had not received the telegram. Uh, then uh, Pol Pot uh, went back, and I was uh, summoned. And uh, I went along with a uh, nephew of uh, Kai Pok. And then I told uh, them that, no, I could not go alone. I had to uh, bring a witness with me. So I brought Kai Pok's uh, nephew uh, with me at that time. Then I was asked, I was blamed uh, why I uh, dealt with this uh, recklessly. Uh, he warned me that I uh, would run the risk of being uh, imprisoned or detained or so. So I told him that, uh, please, uh, let me explain the situation first. And I uh, did explain him. I told him that it was the rainy season at that time. I was a very um, diligent uh, staff member. I was responsible for my task. But at that time, the uh, weather was not good enough uh, to send anything out uh, at that time. So uh, he tolerated me. And he actually asked me to write whatever uh, had happened. So I uh, reported everything that I was a punctual, uh, very uh, self-disciplined staff. And I reported everything that actually uh, they, uh, at the center, they had a lot of uh, machine, but uh, for our part, we only had uh, one machine or so. So we did not receive or send anything out properly. So then, uh, of course, uh, Kai Perk was also from the uh, very low uh, background as uh, me as well. So he understood uh, the situation. So at that time, uh, he uh, forgave me uh, following my explanation. And I had all the report, and I had the witness as well. So I reported the reality of what happened. The president. Le uh, thank you, Mr. Prosecutor and witness. Uh, court officer is now instructed to um, take back all the documents uh, from the uh, witness. And Mr. Prosecutor, the time is now appropriate for the day adjournment. The chamber will adjourn for today, and we will resume on Monday, starting from 9 in the morning. And the uh, hearing on Monday, the chamber will resume hearing the uh, testimony of Mr. Stuhn Kanel. La déposition de and then, if we can conclude it, 
uh, we continue to hear the testimony of uh, TCW620. Nous entendrons le témoin TCW 600. For the, uh, Donc, and, voici le plan de travail uh, for the members of the public as well. Mr. Sun Kanel, your uh, testimony has not yet Monsieur Sun -Kanel, uh, been concluded. Uh, uh, so the chamber wishes to invite you to come to testify uh, in the court again on Monday next week, starting from 9 o'clock in the morning, court officer is instructed to facilitate with the uh, witness support section to uh, facilitate the uh, travel and accommodation of the uh, witness and have him back to this courtroom on Monday uh, next week. Security guards are also instructed to bring the co-accused uh, back to the detention facility and bring them back to this courtroom on Monday, the 17th of December 2012, before 9 o'clock in the morning. And as for Mr. Ian Sari, he needs to be brought to the holding cell downstairs where the audiovisual equipment is there uh, for him to follow the proceeding remotely. The court is now adjourned. Thank you.